really do any updates today, but we stopped in Cozumel. So I went off the ship for just a little bit, maybe a few hours. Just kind of walked around, took some pictures on my film camera. I got Starbucks, cause like, I just needed a big coffee. It was early and I was tired. So that was the only place that was available that took American money. Very touristy for that area, but I wasn't gonna go far away anywhere cause I'm by myself. I didn't book any excursions. So I decided because it was so nice out, take advantage of the pool on the ship. So I came back and I was at the pool like almost the entire day. Had lunch, I grabbed some pizza at one point. Kind of like a picky food day. I didn't do any like sit down dinners or anything cause last night was like a big dinner. After dinner last night, I did go to that dual reality show which was really cool. Filming wasn't allowed and I really don't like to do that. Like when you're trying to watch something, I just think it's like annoying. But basically it's a bunch of acrobatics and other sorts of tricks. And they kind of have like a story of almost a Romeo and Juliet backstory to it and it was really good very entertaining and then after that I went to bed because I didn't feel like going to the club or anything because hmm, I don't know but tonight is scarlet night and I'll show you the full fit it's been a while since I've worn like a club dress like this I feel like so scarlet night is this big event on the ship it starts at around nine o'clock and it goes to like two o'clock in the morning I think between all the parties and I don't know what else is gonna happen, but it's Virgin Voyages like red themed night. So I have this red and black dress on. I'm gonna film, but mostly I've been filming on my phone because taking this camera around is kind of a pain in the butt. I'm gonna get some champagne and hopefully have some fun. This is my dress for Scarlet Night and I have some heels and I'm gonna have my purse with me, so yep. It's update time. So Scarlet Night was really fun. Um, there was a lot of performances and the Happenings cast and cast of other shows on the ship were all doing stuff, kind of keeping you entertained throughout most of the night. So I ended up sitting and watching karaoke. A bunch of people got up, did their songs, and that was fun. And then after that, they had the pool party on deck, which was so much fun. It was entertaining. I found a couple of women to kind of dance with, have some drinks with. I danced in the pool. And then after that, I I stopped in to the after party in the manor, which is their club. I was starting to feel all the beverages that I had. And I was like, it's time to go to bed. So I was in bed by 1.30. I needed to go to bed because I booked a 9 a.m. workout class which I think I can handle. I booked it because it's 80s themed, which sounded so fun to me. Um, I saw on TikTok people loved it, or else I would not work out. I'm gonna be so real. 
I do not work out on vacations. Like, you're not gonna see me in the gym lifting, running. I don't run anyway anymore. Um, on the elliptical, none of that because I'm here to relax. I'm on vacation. I can work out when I'm at home. The most you're gonna catch me doing is like going for a walk or something like that because I think there's something wrong with people who are on vacation. You paid all this money to go on vacation, to get away from it all. And you're in the gym? I'm sorry, I just, and I work out all the time. I still won't be at the gym on vacation, but anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna do this workout class and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm not feeling too terrible because I tried to take care of myself before I went to bed. I've got some water. I grabbed a little granola bar. Hopefully it helps me feel a little more normal, but I will show you the little workout fit. I don't have a full 80s leotard, leg warmers, neon colors vibe. I don't own that kind of stuff, but I do have my Def Leppard tank top on, which I think is pretty cute. I can show you the fit, but it's nothing special. It's just bike shorts and my Def Leppard t-shirt. I think this is gonna be fun. And if I die, I die. I doubt I'm the only one recovering. I don't know how many people would do a workout class after partying at night. But I'm a trooper. And I'm gonna get through this, but I'll let you know how the workout class goes. Hi, my name is Jordan. Welcome to my one hundred. This is one of my favorite summer dresses. It's just so cute. And like, I never wear green, ever. Like this green is actually cute, but like most of the time, I just hate green. But I'm gonna head to dinner soon. This is my last scheduled sit down dinner on my cruise. And it is at a Korean barbecue place where I'm gonna have to sit with a table of strangers because they sit people together, like even if you're by yourself. Um, so hopefully it's fun. Um, it's a little early. I noticed like when I had dinner at Extra Virgin on Tuesday, there was a lot of older people because young people like to eat at like nine o'clock at night. I don't. Like I want to be in bed by nine o'clock at night or like done eating because I'm like, I just feel like it's really late and then your stomach hurts because you ate so late, but that's just me. So maybe I'll make friends with like a 70 year old and we'll just be BFFs for the rest of their life. So that's my first plan and then probably catch a live show or something, um, spend some time in the sun. I actually went and did bingo, didn't win. I don't know if I already updated this, but yeah, I was gonna stay by the pool like all day, but then it got really cold for a minute there and I lost my seat because I went into the hot tub and once you lose your seat, it's really hard to get another one because all the chairs were occupied because we're at sea, everyone's at the pool. Um, so I took a couple hours, I had lunch, I went and did bingo, and that was really fun because it was with the diva, which is their drag queen, and <laughs> that just made it so much fun. And I didn't win, but I came back here, changed back into my bathing suit so I could sit out for a little bit longer, um, and then now I'm ready to go. So, yeah, that's all. So, see you later. Yeah, and it's always closed. The past, like today now. Oh, there's no talking to you. It's so sad that you're leaving. fun. I ended up sitting with several different people at dinner and we decided to try a little bit of everything on the menu. I ended up trying things that I was not gonna try so that was pretty cool. I 
did try octopus for the first time. It looked grosser than it was. It wasn't that bad. I'm not a big seafood person anyway, but there were some dishes that were really good. We played a couple of drinking games. I wasn't gonna drink yesterday. <laughs> And then I ended up having like three shots of sake. I had the K-pop disco water, which was pretty good. And then I had a couple drinks after that. I think I only had one or two. Two. One. I had one. Because I ended up going to trivia after dinner. And started out on one team. Because of the rules and how things work. I ended up having to move to another team. And then my teams ended up tying but then I lost rock, paper, scissors, but because I was on the winning team to begin with, we ended up winning a drink. And I was MVP of the night because um, I brought that team up from nothing and both my teams were tied, like, it's all on me. And one of the things that's funny to me is I've been watching Friends in the background in my room because there's not much to pick from on the tablet and I ended up having a friend's themed question and I got it right because I had been prepared in watching Friends. Yeah, after that I went and watched the diva sing Cabaret and wonderful, wonderful singer. Overall yesterday was very busy, a lot of different things, it was a very long day. I got a little bit of sleep and today is Bimini. So as you can see, I've got my little cover up, my bathing suit. Hopefully the sun comes out more and stays out because I need to lay on the beach. I'm gonna read my book and just get some sun before I have to go home tomorrow. So it's my last full day and I'm a little excited to see my dogs though. Not a little, I'm very excited to see my dogs. I miss them. Let's stop talking, let's go to Bimini. here. I was gonna go to bed honestly but I went to trivia and I met a couple of other solo travelers who said I should come to the 70s dance party so I am gonna get a drink and I guess go dance a little bit. We'll see how long I stay out. Probably not very long because I have to get up early so I can get off the boat and catch my flight. Bimini was very nice today. The water was too cold to swim in but I laid out like six hours, I think, if not more, reading, just chilling. At least like the sun came out, so it was still warm enough, but it wasn't as warm as I like it, but I can make the best of a bad situation. So, and then I came back and I decided to do um, last minute reservations to Razzle Dazzle, which I hadn't tried yet. and. I like some of the food. Um, one part I didn't really like that much. Still pretty good. So I've had a lot of great dining experiences. I've had a lot of food this whole week, a lot of drinks. So I'm very full. After this, I don't think I'll have to drink any alcohol for a long time because <laughs> I've had way more than I'd ever have because I had the bar tab. So it was all free. And I won trivia last night 
my team won trivia tonight and the prizes were a free drink. Again, you gotta take the free drinks as they come. I have had a wonderful time. I've been very busy. I found time to relax. I've had a lot of great food. I have met a lot of people almost every day. I was meeting different people, chat with, get to know a little bit, even if, you know, I haven't made any lifelong friends or anything, but I have just had a really good time. Um, I am really excited to go home though, to see my family, friends, my dogs. My dogs are the top priority but I wanted it to seem like I cared more about my family and friends. But in reality, Coco and Tango miss me a lot. I hope you enjoyed watching my trip on Virgin Voyages, The Scarlet Lady. We stopped in Cozumel, Mexico and Bimini, Bahamas. My first solo cruise, my first cruise, I think went pretty well. And I would definitely recommend Virgin Voyages for so many reasons. I need to go get Maybe some champagne to end this vacation right and hopefully I'll be in bed by like midnight because I'm tired. It's been a very long week. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I will see you on my next trip someday.